Hey guys, today we're taking apart an Epson Expression XP340 printer. It's very similar to a lot of the XP300 series and XP400 uh, series. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and start on this. We're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver on most of the um, process. To remove the top cover here, we're just going to pull it up, push it in the middle, and it pops out. Then we're going to remove the screw right here. That will release the top. Let's remove the back tray. It just pulls up like this here. And then also press in the middle and push it to one side. There we go. Okay, and after we remove the screw over here, what we need to do is we're just going to lift the right side. Lift it like this here. Get it out of the spring. And then move the side to the left. And our top portion is now removed. We need to be careful not to, um, not to break this uh, ribbon wire right here. So I'm just going to carefully set it right here, and then we'll just continue with removing the rest of the plastics here. Now we're going to remove the screw on this side. Releases this one. Now, I'm just going to try to lift this out. Cord disconnected over here, so we're just going to remove the top part. So this should be able to just remove. Let me. Pretty much the same thing with this side here as the other one. Flip here and there.
I missed a screw right here. That's why I'm having trouble. So in here is a little test screwdriver that we need to remove. And that's when the side just pops off. So this is the inside of the printer. Um, here we have the screen. We're going to remove the ground wire. And disconnect this cord here. This wire here from the board. So it just pulls out. Goes around here there. This one was already set free. Now we're just going to pull it back here and take it out. Like so. And this is the screen for the XP printers, XP300 and um, 400 series. So now to remove this output tray, we're just going to press in the middle to release here and it comes right out. In order to get the print head out, which is one of the most common parts that are taken out to clean or replace, what we'll need to do is we first need to pull this cover on the right side. There we go. Just pull this back. So either a small flathead screwdriver just pull this back and pull this cover up there we go then we can dis disconnect the cord for the print head over here on the bottom and then to disconnect this um, basically the contact board. I'm gonna just also pull the cord out here, um, and then what we're gonna need is just something thin, probably just a flathead screwdriver. A small one would work, and we need to take this this piece out right here. So. On this side and the the left and right side there's um, a tab that we need to push just slightly just to release it so it's right at the top of the slot over here as you see and same thing over here so these two are the, the ones that we need to press in so just do one by one and we already disconnected the cord from here, so we're all good to go. And now we have access to the print head. I'm going to use the uh, Phillips head screwdriver, remove the three screws. And you don't have to remove the whole top portion like we did right now or the sides in order to get to the print head. You can see we can easily get to it without... Um, Just comes right out. This is the print head for this printer. Now we need to, well, we're just going to continue removing parts. So, this is the encoder strip. It pulls through here. When you install it back, make sure you put it in the correct area. Comes right out here. So, encoder strip for it, and the carriage encoder. Um, and one of the last things that we're going to do is the power supply and the logic board. So before I forget, 
power supply is very simple to replace. Um, so I'll just show it to you. I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver to pull these tabs away. There's actually two side by side. It's like a one piece, but they have tabs in a different location. So we're going to pull it back and pull this up. We can disconnect it at this point. And here's our power supply for this printer. To put it back in, you just put it in the same position and just clamp that in. You don't even need tools to put it back in. So, this is where the... Absorber pad, I believe, is located, so let's remove that cover, remove the screw, and this is where the absorber pads are. Very simple to get to. Also, the pickup roller is located here. Um, to replace it, you just remove the spring. Also these here, I'm going to pull it up on this side. First let's remove this. So this removes first, it goes right out. And then I believe we just pulled this one up. Spring here. So, yeah, I'm not sure about this, but the pickup roller over here. So, it's the other side of the pickup roller. The main one is over there. And to get to that one, it's on this side over here. So this is where the pickup roller is. We just remove the screw right here. And then it just slides, slides over like so. Cover removes. Another screw right here. We'll probably need to remove this sensor right here. Same thing. Hinge if you have a broken one, the spring is replaceable. The support unit. Um, let's see if I can remove this here. I've never removed it actually, so I'm not sure if we can do it. So there's clips right here. that we need to press in and that would probably release our pickup roller. So I'm just going to push this side in. Now this, I'll just push it as I do it. I've never done this part, so um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Okay, so.
Probably not. So. <laughs> but the idea is right there. So, um, if you're able to do it successfully, please let us know. And um, I think I'm pretty close, but just don't want to spend any more time on that. Um, let's remove the formatter board, and then we're going to be all done with the video. So I'm just going to disconnect everything that's already visible here. All these cords, wires, and then we have a, a screw right here. There's another one down there. I believe this is our last um, screw on this board. And there we go. And the ones that have the wireless option, this is the wireless card. We'll just keep it together with this board. So this is the formatter board or the main logic board for the printer. So that's pretty much it. This was an XP340 printer that we took apart. Four parts in this case for me but um, if you need to repair something or get inside of a printer that's pretty much somehow what how how to do it so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to our channel um have a wonderful day thank you